Alpro Exterior Services here with a little, just uh, I guess you can call it marketing. Went to my local sign company and look what I got. Got my trailer sign in finally. And what I focused on here in my region, obviously everybody refers to soft washing, anything, pressure washing. That's what they look up. I surveyed many a people. So I got the pressure washing and my phone number obviously as big as I could. Got my logo and I just kind of got some things that we do at the bottom. So I like it. Starting to put that logo a little bit more out there to get some branding recognition. And uh, I'm going to mount it on the back of the trailer, which let me show you. Take this off. And again, it's a local sign company, very reasonable in prices. Uh, great people to deal with. So I made that wood, uh, this piece here, I made that out of some treated wood. Put some wood glue on it and did the whole nine yards so that's why i'm gonna mount it so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this project and let you know how it works right, this is the sign just temporarily held up by clamps fits perfect perfect look at that that thing's beast and you can see that pressure washing quite a bit back so if somebody's behind you they can take that photo give us a call and we'll take care of you love it you see, got the water background. It, it kind of follows follows the trend of my marketing with the business cards and the bubbles and the water. So yeah, I got some uh, screws from Ace. So I'm just going to use some, drill some holes in it, measure it out, make it look consistent. Just some regular wood screws. So we'll sit this in like this. I'll hold it in. That'll be golden. And uh, shouldn't go nowhere. And then that's also removable, so you can take it in and out of there. That's what I like about it, too. So if we've got to work on anything, we can just pull up the sign, take it out, put it on the side, and roll with it. And, uh, yeah, and no wind. Sh it should get no wind drag because it's not getting any wind because of everything in front of it. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up and hit you back. Peace. This is the final product. Got the trailer sign mounted. Used five screws across the top, five across the bottom. I do have some metal cross member bars that I was going to put in here and I didn't do it. Uh, in fact, I may put one on each end just to hold it, but that's good right now. Look, that's on point. And yeah, I'm OCD. I like from my electrical days when I worked, I always like my screws slot it the same way if they have a slot. So I think that wakes it up. I mean, you can kind of get far back and, you know get a good sign of what's going on right there you know what i mean so anyway that's kind of it so i need to go down a little bit there you go now oh yeah look at that it's thickened i mean i almost want to get another one to put it up top get some good visibility i just don't didn't want it to get in my headroom you know what i mean like i didn't want to that's a wind drag, that's a parachute, plus it's in and out when you're on and off the trailer working on stuff that you're hitting the head. I just thought this was a better choice. But we'll see. Hey, look, if it drives me any business, it doesn't pay for itself. The sign was 100 bucks, So that's well worth it. All right, guys, just a little marketing 101. I appreciate the like, sub, call, comments. Keep them coming. Peace.